Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about how to mod Minecraft, and it is a lot easier than you think. There's actually two ways of doing it. One is going through and downloading all of the files in the pack from the website or from a paste bin thing or from wherever, and then installing it through Forge and all that, or you can do it the easy way. So today we're going to be looking at the easy way, and this involves getting curse. So first off, what you want to do is you want to start out by going to curse.com and then downloading the application that they have. It should be the first thing you see on the screen should be the download button. And there you go. Just go ahead, download that, open it up, and you should see something like this after you log in. So first thing you'll notice is over here on the orange bar, you have these four buttons. This one right here is for your like homepage looking thing. And then at the bottom, you have the face of a creeper. Like that and pulls up the Minecraft page. As you can see, I have these two things here already on it. But if you want to install something new, pretty much what you do is you browse all mod packs, browse FTB packs, or create custom profile. So basically what this page is, is it allows you to browse a mod pack that you want. Like say you want um, FTB, which is Feed the Beast, Infinity Evolved. You can go to browse FTB packs. And it's the first one here. It'll have an install button. See, mine already says play in the little drop down menu, view profile, install, whatever. So, this one right here has install. So, you can click that and it'll run the program and everything. And then, after that, you'll have a play button. And what that does is when you hit play, it'll open it, play it. Nothing more simple than that. You just search for whatever it is that you want and you're done. You can go to, you know, it has a little thing here where you can go to their website and so on and so forth. So, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to browse all mod packs. So you can actually type in a search for whatever it is you want. You can go here to categories. You have a huge list of all of these things. Featured, um, like you can have, you can sort it by featured, popularity, last updated, name, author, so on and so forth, and then type it in here and go for it. But what I'm gonna do real quick is just show you a little bit how it works. So I'm gonna do project ozone. I'm planning on playing that sometime in the future. It's made by these two people. OG Aristotle is a streamer. I do enjoy watching him on Twitch. So go ahead and check him out. Um, over here it shows pretty much like the categories that it falls into. So if you hover over them, it, it'll tell you. So what you want to do is hit install. Downloading Project Ozone, it has a little bar here and everything. When it's done, we'll do other things. Project Ozone, copying files. It does all of the setup for you. you see there, it's installing mods number, whatever out of whatever. So pretty much you can go back to here, see it installing here on your main page. And when it's done, you'll have a play. And if there's an update for it, like Unstable here has an update, you'll see this little download button here, that's for updating. And if you want to install just individual mods, you can create your own custom profile where you can put different mods and mod packs together um, to create your own little thing here of whatever it is that you want to run. So if you want to click that, open that up, name it whatever, whatever version of Minecraft here that you want the mods to be, and then your mod loader, which would be Forge, click OK. Um, just do this just for the hell of it, click OK. And then you can load different mods into it and things like that. So you can get mods. And here's a whole bunch of different mods that you can search for through all of the, there's only an all categories and then you can sort by that, but you can type in specific names. You can do resource packs, maps, mods, which will load again, there you go. And so you have that, we're going to go ahead and just remove that. I know there's no backups for it, but I always do that anyway. So as you can see, as we were doing that, Project Ozone has installed, set itself up, completely easy. Just click play, it'll open up the Minecraft launcher, you hit play on that, and then it'll load the game. Some things like Infinity Evolve take a whole lot longer to load than others, depending on how many mods there are and how much stuff it has to load. 
And that's pretty much it. You can also contact, you know, your friends and stuff like that. You can see who who else is playing mon uh, Minecraft and all sorts of things. So there you go. That's the easy way to mod Minecraft. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Uh, also, check out my my stream. I have it here on the on the screen. The name for that. So just go check out on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. You know, comment, rate, subscribe, all of that. And I'll see you guys next time.